Hi, everybody. This is Rick here. Uh, welcome to Digital Fortress. Uh, I would like to bring up something that I ran into today. And fortunately, we caught it kind of early. My sons, Cal and Christian, I'd like to give them a big shout out. Uh, thank you for taking care of this problem. And I would also like to say uh, to IOHK and all the developers who've been working on the Cardano HTN and the Haskell code, uh, thank you as well. You've done a fantastic job. The code is incredible. It's extremely efficient. And we're having a great time setting up the pools. Um, we're learning a lot. And I really enjoy using the Haskell code. But I wanted to bring up a problem called pool spoofing. My pool got spoofed today. And I'm going to attempt a screen share. I'm on my laptop, so I apologize for the poor sound as um, I'm, I'm at work. And so, yeah, I, I'm on my laptop and I don't have my equipment here. Um, so. Anyway, hello everyone, King Cardano, Kieran Simkis, Sim, Jax Crypto, the Elite Trance. Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, thanks for joining me here at Digital Fortress. So uh, Digi got spoofed today and I got off work and I, I just took a little check and said, how's my pool doing? And, and I saw a spoof pool in there, didn't make any sense. I was like, what's going on here? So I contacted my sons, asked them and said, hey, do you guys see this? Uh, do you know what's going on? So they looked into it and they identified that a pool is that someone, a, a Klingon bad guy, if you've seen my Twitter account, so there's a Klingon on the renegade. You know, currently the Federation has a uh, an alliance with the Klingons. We have a truce going on, but the renegade Klingon bad guy got in the, uh, the Haskell test net and spoofed my DigiPool. Now, the reason they can do that is because it's decentralized, you can register the ticker and then put a JSON file. It's cut called a dot json a json file on a url somewhere so i'm going to show you how they did it how they spoofed the pool and how my sons kyle and christian eliminated the problem uh with by deleting the file unfortunately they were able to access the website and delete the file otherwise the pool would have shown up in dayless i didn't get back in time to see if the pool the spoof pool actually showed up in Dayless, but it would. It would have shown up as Digi. What I'm going to do moving forward is I'm going to put the hash of my pools of the Digi and Digi2 pool on my web page so that people know they have an authentic Digi and not a fake Digi until this problem is fixed. Okay. Oh, Redman says, you better not ruin my day, Rick. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to do a video tonight. I really didn't, man. I'm tired. I want to eat my dinner. I want to eat my chicken wings over there. But um, I hope I don't ruin your day as well. All right. Hello, Silen City. So let me get do a screen share. I'm going to try to do the screen share. And I'll pull up chat on here so I can talk to you guys. Um, but, but I am on my laptop, so I might mess this up. So bear with me in case I mess it up. All right. Let me get on this. Oops, I can't see the chat. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen, and I'll walk you through what they did, and I'll walk you through how to correct it. Uh, shoot. Now I got I to gotta have something open first. Before I can screen share it. So I got to open these screen captures. And if I screw this up, then I'll just do this video over again. But the only reason I'm doing a live stream is because I'm lazy and I just wanted to do this live stream and get this thing out of the way. Let me see if I can share this now. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here's the first screen share. Here's the fake poll. Let me share that out. Okay, uh, that's the the fake down there at the bottom, you can see the pool ID, that hash doesn't belong to me. But what the person did is they registered Digi and um, they even used my URL and they uh, they generated this pool and that would have shown up in Daedalus. Oh, let me see here, I can't see chat. I can't see chat right now. So, uh, oh, there we go. I'll pull it up on my tablet. There we go, okay, okay, all right. So. Yeah, here's the faked pool over here. Um, there are mitigation techniques that are not yet implemented. Okay, so that was the fake. Now, what this guy did is he uploaded the .json file called a JSON file uh, that has this data in it so that it shows up in Daedalus and it showed up here automatically on pool tool. Okay, so I'm going to, hold on, let me stop that one. And so my sons looked into it and they found, oh, and Papa Carp helped us too. Thank you, Papa Carp. Uh, Papa Carp identified that this guy had this URL file bin. So I sent that to my son and he looked into that also. 
So the guy uploaded the JSON file to this filebin.net. Uh, and this is why like the authorities don't want people uploading random stuff to the internet because there's no accountability. And that's a big problem in crypto also is a lack of accountability. All right, so my son Kyle checked it out and my son Christian looked into some of the stuff. Um, identified that website here, shown with the file bin, convenient file sharing, blah, blah, blah. And then they went on to delete the file here. Share, there we go. And they got rid of it, okay? So they went in there and deleted that file out. Therefore, with this JSON file deleted, then that pool will not show up in Daedalus, or at least I hope it doesn't show up in Daedalus. All right, and let's see here. Um, oh, and um, on, on recommendation, oh, screen share, stop, okay. So on recommendation from Papa Carp, what we did was uh, my son Christian went in there and changed the name on pool tool. So let me pull up pool tool here and show you how he identified it as a bogus pool. All right, so I'll share that out. Let me make sure I can still do this. There we go. I got the right thing. All right. Okay, so here's pull tool. So what he did is uh, Christian went on here and labeled that digi pool as an imposter pool. This is not an official digital, it's not an official digital fortress pool. Okay. All right. So nice work, team. Good job, Team Cardano, on mitigating the renegade Klingon threat. Uh, we got that sorted out. Um, what I think will, will happen in the future is that there's something called a Smash server that is going to be deployed. I don't know what Smash stands for, but Priyank told me about it in the Cardano Shelley best practice channel that this Smash server is one way we can mitigate that. And a gentleman named Adam also informed me that putting uh, some sort of URL validation so that the person who owns the URL uh, put that validation in the hash somehow, and that will prevent people because it's just too much work to try to fake a pool um, or validate it using uh, DNS. Okay, so there's different techniques that can be used that are still pretty well decentralized to prevent people from doing that again or at least mitigate it so that if they do, they can either be identified or flagged as being a bogus pool, not being authentic. And I think the Cardano Foundation is gonna be bringing up this smash server where the official wallets, uh, Prank explained this to me that the official wallets will be pointed to their smash server so that when we put our .json files on that server, it will be registered in the official wallets correctly but it doesn't prevent somebody from making a third party wallet that allows renegade pools to register and put a ticker inside the third party wallet. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I, again, I apologize for kind of like the stitch together video I had to do here. Cause I just have my little laptop and it worked out pretty good. Has anybody got any questions? I'm going to punch out here and go eat my chicken wings. It's not taco Tuesday. It's chicken wing Wednesday. Questions, comments, Malky Dot, how you doing? Oh, how many pools are there on the HTN? Let's check. Um, did I have Daedalus open? Oh, I, yeah, I got Daedalus open. So let's take a look to see how many pools are on the HTN right now. Let me take a look here. I'm going to share that with you. All right. Here's Daedalus. Let's put that baby out there. Okay, there's Daedalus. How many pools have we got? 237. Woohoo! 237 pools. There might be a few more in here. Oh, just a, a reminder. This is very important. Thank you for asking that question, Malky Dot. I appreciate it. The current pool rankings don't count. Okay. The rankings that are currently in Daedalus on the HTN do not count because we are using fake ADA and we are using test parameters. So some pools are testing very optimistic parameters using fake ADA that no one has to pay for. It's just, you know, divvied out. Some people don't have access to as much fake ADA as other people. That's also a problem or a disadvantage for some pools. So do not, these rankings do not count, okay? Um, 
I'm, do, I'm doing test parameters. Oh, and what I'll do is I'll check, did Digi disappear? Okay, so the bad guy Digi doesn't show up. I don't know if it did or not. Um, all I know is I deleted, my son deleted the JSON file. Fortunately, it was on a website that could be deleted. So there are 237 pulls. That was the question. That was the original question. 237 pulls. Good job, Team Cardano, all the whole Cardano community on getting 237 pulls up in a very short period of time. With um, good job, Dow HK, on getting good procedures out there. Also, big thanks to all the folks like Kaizen Crypto has a video on how to set up a pool. So if you would like to set up a pool, check out Kaizen Crypto. Big Pay has a video on how to set up a Haskell node pool. So check out Big Pay's channel. Those two folks have got some up. Um, Max did a article with POA, I believe it was. Uh, please forgive me if my memory fails me. Uh, I joined the Navy, uh, how long ago? 34 years ago, 53 years old this month. Uh, joined the Navy when I was 17 years old. That was uh, 34 years ago in, in July uh, 1986. So yeah, sometimes my memory kind of goes off a little bit. Uh, so that's all right. I'm still happy. All right, Gene Pasker, how you doing, Gene? Anyone else have any questions? Hopefully I can answer your questions while I'm here. I don't plan on doing a live stream uh, for the rest of the week. I didn't plan on doing this one, but I think Philippe and I will have a Cardano effect plan for the weekend. Uh, let's see. Yes, King Cardano said it's great you that you have your boys involved and interested in the pool, Rick. It's a lot of fun for them and you. Yes, sir, King Cardano. It certainly is a lot of fun. And they have done a fantastic job. They've done the majority of the work. I've just provided some general guidance and they put in all the all the hard work and all the detail on getting the pools up and running. So again, big thanks, Kyle and Christian. You guys are awesome. Okay. All right. That's all I got for you. Oh, Malky Dot, it's your birthday today. Happy birthday, Malky Dot. Happy birthday to you. All right. So y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching Digital Fortress and Cardano is rock and roll. Uh, it's only going to get better. The protocol is fantastic. It's just some of these details take a little more time to work out. You know, Cardano, it's going to be, be it's going to be built forever. The building will continue. It'll be a forever process. Even after Voltaire is done and Basho is done and Hydra is out and scaling is achieved, there will be continuous Cardano development by thousands and thousands of developers out there. Uh, so you'll see it can continuing growth on Cardano over the time. And you know, I'm an optimist. And I'm also realistic about things uh, like when it comes to timelines and development. So um, you can always trust me for some no bullshit kind of stuff. And uh, my guesses have been pretty accurate. They've been, they've been okay. They've done okay on guessing the timelines. All right, so that's all I got for you. Uh, oh, there's a question from Cameron Fraser. Uh, what are the repercussions if you had not found out about this renegade? The repercussions are is that people would delegate to a pool that is not digi then what that person could do is raise their percent they mimicked my percentages that were testing they're just test percentages you know uh it, right now it's set to like 508 and two percent that doesn't mean what we'll do on mainnet we still got to figure it out um but what they would do on mainnet is mimic a pool and set good percentages to collect stakers then they could crank the pool fee up to 100% and collect all the rewards. And it makes the person who's running the pool look bad. And then if people don't check their Daedalus or their Yoroi very often, let's say they only check every two or three months. Well, two or three months will go by and that person who's delegating will not get any rewards. And the person who spooked the pool will get all of the rewards. So this is a very important problem that needs to be solved. And uh, it, it's solvable, it just takes time. It was in the plans this whole time. They've known of, there's different ways of doing it, but you gotta do the most important stuff first. And that is to get a fully operational decentralized Haskell protocol up and running, and then iron out those kind of details. So it's been in the plans. So that's in there. Hopefully I answered your question. Cameron, thank you. That was a very good question. That's why you got to be careful about the uh, uh, it, Ada for Profit says open source. Everyone is invited, even invited, even the crazies. That's right. It's not illegal to be crazy. Um, and it's, people do goofy stuff and it'll make the ecosystem stronger because 
we will figure out how to counter the people who are doing things that are less than desirable or less than optimal. Um, it's not illegal, but it is not a desired behavior. So we'll figure out how to reward the good behaviors and diminish the rewards for bad behaviors. Uh, part of that is education and letting people know um, information like this. It, you've heard the high, IOHK professors say that their obscure, security by obscurity doesn't work. It's a tongue twister. Security by obscurity doesn't work. So it's better to identify the bad guys, identify what behaviors they're doing, let people know how they're doing it, let the pool operators know how to mitigate that behavior. And then eventually we find solutions that are decentralized in nature and will keep the bad guys from doing stupid things because the world has an unlimited supply of stupid people out there. There's plenty of them around. And obviously they don't have anything better to do. Like really, I got the time to be like messing with this guy. Come on, really? Okay, whatever. We'll get y'all sorted out. <laughs> but my key concern here is don't allow the delegators to get fooled and it would cause the delegators to lose money. And then as a consequence to that, it would make the pool ticker's name look bad and it would make the pool operator look bad. And then that would dissuade people. So um, uh, yeah, it's important to get the information out there on how to mitigate this kind of problem in the meantime. All right, so I've kind of gone on long enough. Any other questions, let me know. All right, thank you everyone for your questions. It always helps out with the process here and gets more information out. Thank you for watching Digital Fortress. Oh, I left Daedalus up here. <laughs> I forgot I left my screen share on. Okay, thank you all for watching uh, Digital Fortress. Y'all have a great day. Take care, bye-bye. Oh, and happy staking and go Cardano. A lot more to come, a lot more to come. Bye-bye.